Here's the eighth take of this video. Let's see if I can get through it. I want to show you this, and I think it's important because we can work with data and tools for a long time and still get bitten by something. We can get careless, move too fast. We can look over things and then something comes back later, bites us. Let's check out this data. We've got first name, last name the exam booklet and the scores and we need to retrieve information from here we've got this folder two files in it let's look at exams one over here we've got Tommy Anders the address and the license number Tommy Anders in the other file the name is all lowercase and is all in one cell the goal is to get the address and the license over into the other file. Close this. And because there are two files, I'm going to import from this folder. So we got to do some import and clean up. Let's do the import data. Get data from file from folder. Navigate to the folder. It's called exams. Open. OK. There are the two files. Combine and transform data. I'm going to select this folder. OK. Now to clean up, I'm going to call this source. The only column I need is the data column. Highlight it, right click, remove other columns, expand, don't need that, OK. I'm going to use first row as headers, but then there is another header down here called last name, but let's filter out first name, it'll be less scrolling. F name, OK. Scroll down, see if there's anything else we need to deal with. Everything is fine here. Close and load it. Don't need the filter buttons. Now to clean up the exam data. Right click. Get data from table slash range. Table does have headers. Because we have to split the column and deal with the cases, I'm going to use column by example. We've got Tommy Anderson, all lowercase. Bobby Frost, all uppercase. Erica Kang, all lowercase. Here we go. Add column. Column from examples. Holland. We want capital T Tommy. Good. Robbie Frost. That's right. Erica Kang is right. Okay. Call this first name. Now we got to dig out the last name. Column from example. Ambrose. Anders with a capital A. Everything is cool. We got Frost right. Kang right. OK. Last name. Don't need this. Right click. Remove it. Slide the first name over. Slide the last name over. Call this exams. Now we can do the merge. I'm going to do a left outer join. Home. Merge queries. Merge queries as new. I want exams up top. Source on the bottom. F name, F name. And then hold down the control key. Last name, last name, left outer join. OK. I'm going to expand. We don't need the names. Don't need that column name as prefix. OK. Now close and load all of this to the workbook. We got this all matched up where there is a match. Send it off to the person who requested it and they send it back saying, hmm. I was sure we had Chris McCoy's data in here. 
Uh-oh. This is where I got bitten. Let's look at the source data. Our source data has Chris McCoy on Philadelphia Avenue. But in the source, we have a capital C. Over here, we've got a lowercase c. Let's go back to our main data. We do have a capital C here. What happened? Go back to exams. Edit. We've got the capital C, but then column by example fixed it. And that's where the data got messed up and merge didn't work. But we got one other thing. We got Tony Munoz and Tony Munoz. One has the mark over the end and the other one doesn't. There are a lot of ways of dealing with this, but what I'm going to do is correct this manually in the exam data. Everything is all fixed. Let's go back into the exams. Edit. Go back to change type step, right click, delete until end, delete. Now I'm going to split the column. Split column by delimiter. Custom, split it by, comma space. OK. Rename, last name, first name. I'm going to get rid of the merge and completely redo it. Delete. Merge queries as new. Exams on top. Source on the bottom. Last name. Last name. Control key. First name. First name. Left out of join. OK. Expand. We don't need the names. OK. Close this. Lester Grand has an address and a license. Erica Kang does. Chris McCoy is right. Let's close and load. Now, we have an address for Rachel Bass. 27 Gold Flower Road. Save. Slide this out of the way and data refresh. That was a lot to show you how we really have to understand our data and anticipate things like this. Another small thing that can come back and bite you.